In a previous video, we saw that polysaccharides are a type of biological polymer that involve multiple monosaccharide units linked together. Another important biological polymer is known as a protein. Proteins are made up of multiple amino acid units linked together. The amino acid units are linked by what are known as peptide bonds. The peptide bond is the carbon-nitrogen bond in an amide functional group that is part of a repeating carbon-carbon-nitrogen-carbon chain. Amino acids, and really specifically we mean alpha amino acids, have an amine functional group on the alpha carbon of a carboxylic acid. In addition, one amino acid is different from another amino acid because on the alpha carbon there will be different side chains coming off of that alpha carbon. When we have multiple amino acids linked together, we can classify them based on how many amino acids are linked. If we have two amino acid units linked together, we call the combined structure a dipeptide. If we have between three and 10 amino acid units linked together, we would call that an oligopeptide. If we have more than 10 amino acid units linked together, we call that a polypeptide. When we have between 40 and 4,000 amino acid units linked together, we call these very large molecules proteins. Polypeptides and proteins have many numerous types of biological functions. And a little later on, we'll talk about why polypeptides and proteins can have so many different kinds of biological functions. In general, we can classify proteins into two main types. Fibrous proteins have long chains of polypeptides in bundles and are generally insoluble in water. Globular proteins are roughly spherical in shape and are generally soluble in water. In terms of the functions of proteins, there are five different types that we can focus on. Some proteins are known as structural proteins, such as collagen or keratin. All structural proteins are of the fibrous type of protein. Other proteins can serve protective functions, such as venoms or toxins or even antibodies. Enzymes are globular, and the names of enzymes typically end in ASE. Enzymes are useful because they catalyze reactions that occur in living systems. Hormones are another type of protein that help regulate the reactions that occur in cells. An example of a hormone protein would be insulin. Other proteins have a variety of physiological functions, such as storage and transport. Ferritin is a protein that helps store iron in tissues. 